we have details about our first Community Day Classic of the Year. Plus, what could February be? I'm Alex Gum, aka Cheeklay, and welcome to Pokemon Go Ahead. Yes, let's go! Ah, Just before we start with today's video, just a friendly reminder that this Saturday, January 7th from 2 to 5 p.m. is the Chespin Community Day. Now, it's been snowing a lot here in Northern Nevada, therefore we may not go outside for it, but I am going to play for at least 15 to 20 minutes just to try to get some content because I really do want to get that shiny Chespin. So we're going to probably play in the car during the community day. Also, we did get our first ever shiny of 2023, and it is shiny Alolan Sandshrew during the spotlight hour. So, hey, we got it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go over everything for this next upcoming classic community day, which is Larvitar. This is going to be on January 21st, starting from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. So this is going to be two weeks after the Chespin Community Day. It's going to be featuring Larvitar. If you're lucky, you may get a shiny. You evolve it all the way to Tyranitar, it will learn Smackdown, its original exclusive move. Bonuses include three times Catch Stardust, three hour lures and incense. It does not include the daily incense, however, and then five snapshots to get Larvitar encounters. And then there's a $1 research. It's called Lounging with Larvitar, which is pretty lame, but we might do it. You never know. Now that we know exactly what the Community Day Classic is, let's talk about February Community Day on February 5th, because we still have no idea what it could be. But we did get some hints on what it could be though. As you guys may know, it is on February 5th from 2 to 5 p.m. And it was also listed that some sound effects for Glaciate and the new move Boom Burst. Now usually when they drop a new move, it's usually an exclusive move for a Pokemon for Community Day. So what Pokemon can learn Boom Burst? Well, there's a couple. You have Noibat into Noivern, which is less likely to be a Community Day because we just recently had the Halloween events. And then there's also Vibrava and Flygon, but we've already had a Trap Hinge Community Day and that wouldn't even make any sense. It only leads to one Pokemon and it's during the same month as Valentine's Day and the Hoenn Tour and that would be Whismur. The reason why I think it's gonna be Whismur is because A, last year we had the Hoppip Community Day on the same month as the Johto Tour, three stage evolution, also ping, etc. And B, we have Hoenn Tour this year and Whismur is a pink Pokemon that evolves twice and it's a Hoenn region Pokemon and it just makes a lot of sense. It has the move Boom Burst when you evolve it into Exploud, which is a pretty loud Pokemon. So having Boom Burst would make a lot of sense. Would it make it melee relevant? I don't even know. But you guys can let me know in the comments below. Do you think we're gonna get a Whismur Community Day? I think a lot of people are gonna say the same thing. I made this a prediction. So it's up to Niantic to kind of make some confirmation about it. But anyway, guys, that is all the time that we have for today's episode. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys tomorrow while we cover details about the twi uh, Twinkling Fantasy. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Twinkling Fantasy event because these details are insane. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.